So this is the hive that we have filmed before, um, actually in our very first video, or one of our first videos um, on the bees, which is when we had the videos of the bees saying hi. It's an extremely docile colony and they're just really pro prolific now. And we found a, quite a number of queen cells last week and we've been in this hive just now and found a few more and this means that they will definitely want to swarm and we don't really want to repeat the situation that we had with another hive where we had to go and collect them from a tree because it just takes absolutely ages so we're going to perform what's called an artificial swarm which means that we're going to hopefully make the um, bees think that they've swarmed and then they'll stop swarming and just get on with it and this means that we will have to separate the flying bees from the nurse bees. The flying bees are the ones that have the GPS system so we can use this to our advantage. We're going to move this hive more than three feet away just here and what will happen is all the bees that fly will come out of the hive and go into this space and we'll show you that in a minute. We've taken off the heavy honey supers off and we've just moved it actually to the next space along so we definitely know that it's um, too far for the flying bees to find this hive again so they'll come out of this hive and fly back to this spot here which is more than three feet away now because it's quite cold there's not many flying bees at the moment but hopefully in a minute you'll see flying bees just circling here they'll be completely lost and you can see there's a few bees just circling the area now and that's because they're flying out and they think that this is, should be where the hive is and they're definitely lost. So we're going to put them out of their misery and we're going to put a, a new hive with a hive stand in this place so that at least then they will be able to have somewhere to go into to shelter. So we have a few bees come back to this or, uh, original spot, new hive, and they don't have anything to eat. As you can see there's just empty comb and this is what we have to do because in a swarm they go to an empty hive and have to start all over again. But we are going to put on one of these boxes of honey that was on the hive originally. We had two boxes, we've just equalised them so they both have an, enough honey. Because of course, it being rather wet and rainy at the moment, they're not going to have very much time to get uh, nectar, so we don't want them to starve. Similarly, the hive that we're leaving behind over here won't have any flying bees in at all. So it'll be about three weeks later that they'll actually be back to full foraging force. So they don't want to starve either, so we've got to put a, a honey super on each. So we saved a bit of time before and we found the queen, we've caged her, put her in this little cage so she can't get away and it's so easy to find her. And it's just a real simple process of taking the queen out, you can see all the attendants keeping her warm and keeping her fed. Okay, but can you see her in there? She is on the bottom there. Try and turn it over so you can see her. There. So she's happily wandering around there, but she would rather be released. And we're going to take this over to the other hive. So this is this is why they'll think that they've swarmed because these bees will have the flying bees. You can see them. There's quite a lot of them already in here with the queen and the other hive. We'll have no queen and we'll start to make queen cells and build a new hive up. Okay, so here we go. Watch for the queen. So she should walk out and walk into the frame. Here she comes. There she is. There she goes. Just there. And that's all there is to it, much easier than having to go out and collect a swarm. So in this colony we have the nurse bees, quite a lot of food, lots and lots of brood which will hatch in time to feed um, the queen when she starts laying, the new queen. And in this hive there are no resources at all apart from the honey box we've given them on the top, lots of flying bees so as soon as the weather improves they will go out and get lots and lots of food. They will have thought that they've swarmed, go into swarm mode, they'll be drawing out comb, 
getting nectar, feeding the queen, the queen will start laying like mad because they'll think that they've swarmed. So neither of these hives will probably give us any honey but we don't do beekeeping for the honey, we do it for our bees and this is a really nice calm strain of bees so we're hoping that this hive will actually produce another calm strain of bees as well.